Holy crap. Are you guys rolling? Look at this. That is a calculator. We literally were out here filming me getting stung by a giant desert hairy scorpion, and we were taking a break, and I came over to this pasture, and I saw this calculator scurrying around. Oh, oh, they're fast. They're super fast. Ugh. Got it. Woo! All right, I think it's my turn to go arm to stinger with one of the most painful stinging insects on the planet, the cow killer of Arizona. Let's go, guys. The cow killer is what the velvet ant is called in the United States because they are often found in cow pastures and their sting is said to be so horrible that it's painful enough to kill a cow. We don't even have to set up the sting table. It's already set up. Luckily, the sting of that giant desert hairy scorpion wasn't that bad. Oh, oh my God, it's the venom spray, did you see that? Oh. So, I'm gonna be able to hopefully endure one more before we head home. This is the insect responsible for our most famous viral video ever with over 83 million views. But I haven't yet taken the sting from this one. Okay, let me get back here. You all right? And not only am I going to attempt this sting test, but I will also be putting the most famous sting in Brave Wilderness history on our brand new and improved Bite Sting Index, where I will rank this sting on intimidation, pain, and aftermath, ranking each from one to 10, and then taking the average score to see where the cow killer falls on the official Brave Wilderness BSI. So the first impressions of this cow killer, which is a velvet ant, is that it looks a lot different than the cow killer that stung coyote years ago. It has the exact same patterning and fur, but instead of a red abdomen, it has almost like a burnt orange coloration. And that's the cool thing about velvet ants. They come in a variety of shapes, patterns, and colors. And velvet ant species can be found all over the Americas. But I happen to think the ones here in the Southwestern United States are some of the coolest looking of all the species. It's called a velvet ant, but it's not a species of ant at all. In fact, it is a wingless wasp. The males of this species actually have wings and fly around, but they don't have stingers. Only the female velvet ants have stingers. So we know because this one doesn't have wings, it's definitely gonna be able to give me a sting. Now, I have been stung by another species of velvet ant before, the panda ant, where I was the first person to ever document being stung by this species down in Chile. Ah. Ooh, yeah, okay. Definitely took a really good sting and a bite. Ah, I saw a lot of the comments. People were asking, hey, how does that stack up to the velvet ant in Arizona? And I didn't, I didn't know because I've never been stung by one. Well, I'm about to find out and so are all of you. Oh man, the reality of this just set in. I have the sting kill out. I will treat this sting with the sting kill as well. This is not a paid ad. This is just something I'm curious about, of course. I've got an EpiPen just in case I have any kind of crazy allergic reactions. This is a first aid device that will help me get to emergency medical attention should I need it. Hopefully this is just a lot of pain and we don't have to go down that route. And with that, let's get a look at the stinger of this insect. So this is always the tricky part, getting a grip. And they're called the indestructible insect because their exoskeleton, their body is so strong. It is way stronger than most insects. So I'm not gonna be able to crush it or hurt it whatsoever. Oh, you guys hear that? I already heard something that I was curious about. These insects have the ability to actually emit a squeak that's called stridulation. It's a warning distress signal, an alarm siren, if you will. And this one, I just heard it. Hear that? You guys hear, get your, get your cameras close. You'll, you'll be able to hear it. Not quite as noisy as the panda ant, but you can definitely hear it. But don't worry, I'm not hurting this insect at all. Now the stinger, look at how long it is. Oh my gosh, look at that stinger. The stinger of the cow killer is one of the longest stingers of all insects. In fact, to the body size ratio, it has the longest stinger of any stinging insect on the planet. Wow. And because this one is bigger, that stinger is much larger than the panda ant I was stung by in Chile. Wow, that stinger is seriously large. Okay, I think it is time to test out the sting of this fuzzy little insect. 
Are you guys ready? We're ready. Okay, first thing I wanna do is I want to attempt to let the cow killer sting me on its own. In order to do that, we're gonna put it back in the container and I'm going to just place it right on the usual spot. On three. One, two, three. Oh boy, I can feel the fuzz. Abdomen's like right against my skin. This is nerve wracking. I can see the cow killers trying to get out of the glass. Just as I thought, not gonna sting on its own. Here we go, I'm gonna flip it over. Woo, all right, hang on. That gets your nerves going. Whew. Okay, all right. So, you don't really need to worry about taking a sting from this insect unless you really antagonize it by trying to grab it or hold it with a pair of forceps and let it sting you that way, which is what I'm about to do next because I'm very curious how it stacks up to the velvet ants of South America. Mm. Moment's setting in and I'm actually gonna take a sting, all right. Let's get a good grip. Just gonna get it right on the back there. There we go. Okay. It's getting warm. She's getting fired up. You can see where I had the glass placed earlier to prove that she wasn't gonna sting on her own, but she's definitely gonna sting me now. That stinger is firing. You guys got your shot? I'm gonna do it right in the center of that sting zone. All right. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the Velvet Ant, the cow killer of the Southwest. On three, one, two, three. Ah, she's biting me. Nothing yet. Ah. Ah, I got that stinger. Oh yeah, oh. Wow, oh, whoa, way, oh. Ah, uh, yeah, stinger's in. Uh, wow, yeah, that is way worse than the panda ant. Mm. Way worse. What's it feel like, Mark? Oh, it burns. It really burns. Here, I'm gonna put her back. Ah, ah, yeah, that burns. That definitely burns. She nailed me right there. See that? See that red spot? Oh man, that is gonna that is gonna swell. That is searing pain. Way worse than the panda ant. Like times ten. Times ten worse. That is a for real sting. Holy moly. Yeah, that's one of the better ones I've taken. It is, um, oh, hang on. Wow, I got hit three times. One, two, three, the worst one being right there in the middle. And I felt that stinger go all the way in. I mean, probably a, like at least a quarter inch underneath the skin. You can see that there's a little bit of a, a blood spot, a little bit of redness there from like some hemorrhaging underneath the skin but you can really see the blotchiness starting to go. I can already tell you right now, the swelling from this tomorrow is going to be so much worse than it is right now, but right now I'm feeling the effects of the venom, the pain, and it is time for me, I think, to get a little bit of sting kill on this sting. Let's go. Hopefully help cool down the burn I'm feeling on my skin. Oh yeah, that's like a dull pain. Cool relief though, yeah. This sting is way more powerful than the panda ant. I don't know if it's a size thing or if it's just generally the Southwest velvet ants, the cow killers are just that much more painful, but that was a wallop. I'm glad to have a little something to help put out the burn from that pain. I can tell you right now though, tomorrow is gonna be the worst day of this. We're gonna have to monitor this thing for the next 24 to 48 hours. I am by no means out of the woods. 
and now it's time to break down this sting and give the cow killer its official ranking on the bite sting index. For intimidation, I give the cow killer a 7.5 out of 10. Even though they are fuzzy and colorful, once you see that stinger all the way out, all bets are off and you know it means business. As for pain, I was super shocked by this one because I thought it would be at least similar to the panda ant. I was definitely wrong. It was many times worse, so I give it an 8 out of 10. Lastly, the aftermath. The swelling and the pain spike big time in the hours following the sting and well into the next day. While it is by no means a bullet ant, it definitely hurts for a good long while, and I would say the aftermath is much worse than the sting itself, giving it an 8.5 out of 10. That total score gives the cow killer an official BSI rating of an eight. That is the highest ranking so far and a lot of bang pow for such a tiny creature. Tell me in the comments which insects you want to see ranked next.